Hello everybody, Big Ton here, and in this video I want to demonstrate something that I've been having trouble explain in a couple of my streams. Uh, during my explanation I get outright told that I'm wrong, so I, I must be, I, I think my explanation is inadequate to explain what I, or to get across what I'm trying to explain. So I wanted to visually demonstrate what I was trying to explain. So here I am on a monk. And what I'm trying to explain is the way Fane Death works. As far as getting aggro by interacting with the monk while he's doing the FDing. Say if you're trying to like split pool. So I'm going to demonstrate by pulling these two mobs right here. And feign death thing away from the cleric so he doesn't get aggro. So I'll run up here and I'm going to get these guys over here. Okay, I'm going to flop on the ground. Six, uh, successful feign death. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to buff him. Try to get him stood up. Okay. Well that feign death, I lost aggro completely. So that was kind of a bad example try to demonstrate it a little better so let this land okay I'll flop switch over I'm gonna throw a heal on him switch back as soon as the heal lands hopefully I can nope okay taking me too long to get switched but you'll see that the cleric at no time is ever getting aggro but that's gonna yeah. so that broke it so if I would have healed the monk during that part that would have that would have gotten aggro onto the cleric because that wasn't a successful FD because it was broken. All right. Try to heal or buff him. It says feign death is a little too strong. So let okay feign death. Try and buff him. As soon as it lands, stand up. Yeah, this is kind of not showing it very well. On heal, heal, heal. All right. So you saw how the aggro came back to the monk when I stood up, right? So I feign death. You see the 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 cleric is not getting aggro. So, that's what I was trying to explain, is that pretty much no matter what a caster does to me, the monk, as long as it's a successful FD, he can do whatever he wants and it doesn't get aggro onto him. And the key is that the, the caster has to remain outside of their aggro range. Like their body pull aggro range. Also, they have to be careful of whether it's a successful FD or not. So, this is an example right here. See? That broke FD. He's I'm not FD'd right now. So, in order for it to work, you have to have a successful one, which means you can't be cast on. So, we'll do it after this lands. There's the FD. Not in range. This is probably going to be a bad shot here. Yeah, they... Oh, maybe that was alright. Well, I successfully split that pull. But... That cleric should have aggro, right? Because he just he healed me. If I do it... If I would have done it there, I would have got aggro. But as long as it's successful, you won't get aggro. So I'll do one more try here. Lose aggro so fast. Alright, so that should be a good one right here. You see? Oh, nope. Not successful. But it's okay, because... You can see that nobody's attacking the cleric. Kind of 
okay? That's basically what I was trying to explain. I Maybe I was explaining it too, with too many words or something, so I was like confusing myself during the explanation. I'm not entirely sure. But as you can see, the cleric was able to cast a hit point buff as well as a heal over time with no, no aggro by remaining outside of their body pull aggro range and ensuring that the monk was successfully FD'd. So the way I use that is I will actually pay attention not necessarily to the monk, although I do pay attention to the monk looking for the uh, has fallen to the ground message. So I pay attention to the fall on the ground message whether I'm going to heal him or not. I also check to see if I actually visually see a casting animation happen on the monk. So if there's a casting animation that hits the monk, I know that he, I don't, I can't heal him. So I'll wait for him to flop on the ground again. If he didn't fall to the ground and he didn't get cast on, I'll run out there really quick and throw a heal on him and then run back to wherever the camp is to avoid getting into their, their, uh, body pull range and that's how I kind of sort of manage uh, partnering with a, a monk so hopefully that clarifies my explanation a little bit but uh, thanks for watching uh, if you like the videos go ahead and subscribe click the like button do all that good stuff and I appreciate your viewership I'll see you next time thanks guys